are between the Bulls and the Trailblazers. Chicago leading by five. Like I'd say any questions about Jordan's bad wrist have now been answered. It's not affecting him at all. And he's taking advantage of some really soft Portland D. By the look of it, MJ's going to make this a long... The four three-pointer falls for Jordan. The NBA Finals record is six. He's knocking on the door and getting oh so close. Here are the five. Portland has to start the second quarter. We've got Drexler. Buck Williams is out there with Kersey. Then it's Duckworth. And it's Porter at the guard position. Here's Drexler. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Williams has got three assists in the game. Drexler's gone two for four so far here tonight. And here's Jordan. Now Jordan is now closing in on the most points in an NBA Finals half. Can he get to 33? Porter, bounce pass. Here's Drexler. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Drexler's got four points in the quarter. Drexler really clever in how to take advantage of opportunities he gets to score inside. And the pass to Armstrong. Back to Grant. Michael Jordan on the wing. Morris, Morris. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. From downtown, it's rebounded by Williams. And the Bulls not going to Jordan in the post as much as we've seen Clark throughout these playoffs. Hey, Kevin. And that might be by design. I mean, the Bulls have sent MJ into the post so many times. This might be a little wrinkle that Phil Jackson has in store for the Blazers. Yeah, that's a good point. That wouldn't surprise me. Not surprising at all to see Jordan piling up points playing with a lot of determination and grit and insisting on being aggressive looking for his shots. Porter looking it over. Down low. Here's Kersey. Chicago grabs the miss. Jordan outside over Drexler. And the Bulls get it back. Michael Jordan on the wing. Another shot. And that one is off. Now the Trailblazers take it the other way. Here's Kersey. Good and a nice assist from Porter. Chicago doing a nice job moving the ball, finding good shooting opportunities, and exploiting the weaknesses of the defense with really on target, on time passing. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Yeah, there's something not quite right with him. Have to use that timeout and get him some medical attention. Chicago leading by five. Knocked loose. Jordan with it. He has 30. Three-pointer. And again, Chicago. No good. And here's the fast break. Porter leading the way. Here's Duckworth, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Duckworth doing a nice job banging the glass at his side. I think he should be grabbing a bunch of rebounds. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And with Jordan leading the way, the Bulls won their first title last year. I'm not sure they'll have to wait long for another one. And three tying the NBA Finals record. Michael Jordan with an exceptional display of shooting. That was his sixth three-pointer in this game. Outside, Drexler. Back to Porter. Over to the left wing. Passes it to Duckworth. Five to shoot. Pass to Porter from outside the arc. It's hauled in by Pippen. Pippen's got four rebounds in this game. And when we talk about Jordan, we're talking about a man, Clark, in the prime of his career. At the very top of his game. Yeah, one of the best we've ever seen, Kevin. I wouldn't doubt the Larry O'Brien trophy lives in the Bulls trophy case for a few more years. I mean, the Blazers might not want to hear that, but it could very well happen. Here's Duckworth. Shoots over Grant. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. The Bulls leading by seven. And right away, we can see the one-on-one -on -one battle, Mike, between Jordan and Drexler 
is going to take center stage. And not in the way Clyde wanted. Jordan's been toying with him. If this is how their matchup is going to go, the Blazers are in trouble. Big trouble. You know, one of the things you love about Grant is how hard he plays. I mean, not only that, but he plays hard and smart. And it's Porter with the ball for the Trailblazers. Drexler outside. Pass to Kersey. Some solid defense from Pippen. I love how he challenged the shot. That takes some guts near the hoop. He's got a nice touch around the rim. The defense might be better off fouling him. And while we have a chance, let's send it over to David Aldridge, courtside. Thanks, guys. In this series, of course, everyone's looked forward to that head-to-head -head matchup between Michael Jordan and Clyde Drexler. Jordan's defense is going to be a key role, maybe more so than it was in their last series. Cleveland's backcourt doesn't have the firepower that Drexler brings, and it's Jordan's job to slow him down. We'll see if he's up to it, guys. Back to you. We will indeed. Okay, Dave, thank you very much. Mike, we all know how much Michael Jordan enjoys a challenge, and he's got a challenge in front of him right now. And I think he's already enjoying it. For as much attention as his offense gets, he can anchor this team with his defense as well. Good point. And the Bulls might be a little short on the bench. Craig Hodges has been limited with a bad ankle. Porter passes to Kersey. Back to Porter. Over Armstrong. Goes up again. And with that, the Chicago Jordan lead is kept Kersey. down to just six points and the bucket from Kersey. Good reward for Kersey for that effort on the offensive glass. A couple of easy points, right? Michael Jordan now holds the NBA Finals record for most points and a half. This is certainly a night to be remembered in NBA history. And Clark is for Hodges. He might not play a lot of minutes now with that injury, but he certainly, when he does, play, he's a catalyst for them. Yeah, Kevin, he's really an instant offense guy. I mean, can come in and knock down big three-pointers if the offense needs it, but unfortunately, the Bulls might not have that usual spark of his off the bench. Trailblazers trail by five. Noble effort to take the charge, but I don't think he was quite set there. Yeah, you could see him still leaning just a bit. Substitution. Tough to take. And the Bulls with some changes. Kings check in for Williams, and it's Paxson in for Armstrong. Portland also making some changes. Bryant comes in for Kevin Duckworth. Robinson is subbed in for Jerome Kersey. Pippen with it, now guarded by Porter. The shot's good from Paxson. The Bulls continue to share the ball. They're unselfish, active, and finding points easily at the moment. Time call here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. Michael Jordan really making a difference here. He's on another level right now. They're knocking down threes left and right. The defense isn't doing their job. And I think they've got to talk about it quickly. Danny Ainge has checked in for Portland. Back comes in for Terry Porter. Robert. Back passes to Robinson. Now here's Williams. Trailblazers moving the ball around. There's the pass to Pat. Off the mark and a bad shot there. Hey, this is a pretty funny story. You think about it. After Chicago drafted Jordan in 1984, he flew into town, but they didn't have anybody at the airport to pick him up. A chauffeur at the airport recognized him and offered him a ride. I bet you the Bulls figured out how to take better care of Jordan after that. And Grant sends it back. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Trailblazers will right. retain possession. Chicago making a switch here. Livingston's checked in. Bulls with Livingston. Fades and shoots. And there's Bryant. That's good on the assist by Williams. That's hard to believe the Bulls wouldn't be prepared <laughs> to greet the number three overall pick, Mike. For I've never heard of that before. Well, it worked out well for the chauffeur, though. Jordan appreciated it so much that he hired him as his personal assistant. And he still got the job. A good deed rewarded. Why couldn't that be you and I, Kev? We could be driving him around. This is it to Pat. Two minutes remaining in the first And here is Williams. Two minutes. Outside Robinson. Pass to Ainge. Clock is at three. 
Balls knocked loose from deep three-point range. Portland foul. Mark Ryan. Hansen's checked in for the Bulls. First team foul. Bulls leading by seven. Here's Jordan. And that one, good. Jordan's got 37. This is how you share the ball. Levy's the great pass to the open man. Outside, Robinson. Here's Pat. Guarded by Paxson. The kick out to Ainge. And he's good on the three ball. Ainge has got seven. What confidence off the catch. I like whenever Ainge goes right up with it. Jordan against Robinson. Outside Jordan. Livingston the pass to King. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. With his size, King is a real handful inside. Tough to defend him around the basket. Pass to Ainge. The pass to Pat. Bounce pass, Robinson. Bobbed up there for Robinson, and it's blocked. Tons of reach from Levingson. Stuffed the shot there. Passes it to Paxson. Inside, here's King. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Let's credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And that one misses. The sixth overall pick in the 1989 draft, Stacey King is a very talented big man. And there's the whistle on the shot. Got, took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. I don't think there was any question about that being a foul. Yeah, no debate here. We could clearly see the contact. Robert Pat taking two shots. That one falls, so he hits both of them. There's 21 seconds left here in the second. Paxson passes to Hanson. On the wing, Jordan. Tries from 10. It's good. Jordan's got 39. Inside, Jordan runs into some good coverage. But he keeps his cool, finds a way to beat it. Here's Pack, driving the lane. Robert Spreading Pack. it like butter. Woohoo! <laughs> like you could not cook it up any better than that. Yeah! Delicious. That's and so it's.